the newsletter for February just went out and um, I got some feedback on that. Uh, let me share the, the newsletter screen right here. So no, no, it wasn't about how to enable remote work, which is the, the big article um, that you see right here. So it's not this big article. It was about in the what's new section on the left. So the thought around security is that there is a product that can be put in place that will just secure it. And it's not something that customers are not understanding right. I think there is a big push from security vendors uh, over the years that they've been like pushing individual products that, you know, this product is going to fix you up. This product is going to secure you. This product is going to make you impenetrable. Things like that. So I think, and, and a lot of this has to do with, you know, manufacturers and builders of firewalls and, and things like that, where, or antivirus software for that matter. So they'll say, hey, get this and this will, you know, secure you. So let me reiterate, there is no product that will secure you. Security is not dependent on an individual product. It's a process. It's, 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 it's complex because it's the technology, which is the product, it's the people, and then it's the process. So these three things have to work together for your organization to be secure. So it's not like you can just buy a certain technology and automatically you're going to be secure. And it's not that you can simply train your users and hope that everything will be secure because your users will not do certain things that they're not supposed to. And it's not that you have certain processes in place that are going to secure your users. You have to have a good combination of this. So these are the ingredients. It's not the recipe, it's the ingredients. The recipe will be how much of what you need. And that's where expertise for companies like us comes into play. So we can give you the ingredients. You know, think of it like baking that cake. We, we, we like to bake that chocolate cake. I can give you the ingredients and you can use the ingredients, but you can make something that nobody wants to even look at, much less try to eat. Or I can give you the recipe. If I give you the recipe, now you can replicate the cake that I have because it's my recipe, right? And that's what we have is the recipe, not the ingredients. So technology, people, processes, those are just ingredients. It's not the recipe. It's the right combination of those ingredients that gives you that nice chocolate cake that you want. So it's an ongoing process. It's not something like, you know, you can just put in place and forget, you know, even when it comes to training, like um, I've heard, you know, people say, hey, you know, Nadim, come over, uh, let's do a training session, train my users and we'll be good. And then that's it. You know, that that's not how it works. The, the bad guys, the scammers, the hackers are on a constant learning curve. And we have to educate users based on what's going on in the industry, in, in, in that hacker slash scammer industry. Uh, today, it might be ransomware. Tomorrow, it might be something else that we have never heard of. I mean, it's just things just change and they change fast. Uh, the good thing is if you have a continuous improvement process where your training is an ongoing training, uh, where you uh, analyze the systems you've put in place, reassess, tweak as needed, and go from there, then that uh, will make you much more secure than most competitors out there. And when the scammers come knocking on your door and they figure out, you know, your door is locked, they're going to go next door where the door is not locked. And that's how security works. If there is a company out there that says they're going to guarantee you will be 100% secure, they don't know what they're talking about. 
So being in the IT industry, let me say this. There is no such thing as being 100% secure. You would have to crawl under a rock, disconnect from everything to be 100% secure. Even then, you're not 100% secure. There is no such thing. And I've heard from you know some companies and competitors and, and companies like that where they will say, oh, no, we guarantee you'll be 100% secure. What they're doing is really taking a chance. They're going to do a little bit of work. They're going to, you know, if if you don't get a breach, fine. You know, they make a bunch of money. If you do get a breach, let's say 50% of their customers get breached. Eh, you know, they're still ahead. They still made money on that 50%, right? It's better than 0%. So I, I always look with caution at companies doing this. It's kind of like companies who will guarantee you first page ranking on Google, there's companies that still make that claim, and uh, it's not true. It doesn't work like that. They, I mean, even Google cannot guarantee you first page ranking on Google. So anyway, this article in, in the tech journal, I guess it really hit home with, with uh, some people out there, and I think that's why I'm getting some feedback. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll write some more about this. Uh, I think it's, a, it's an important topic. Uh, it's getting more and more relevant as time goes on, as the hackers kick it up a notch. Uh, so we'll circle back to this. Uh, in the meantime, uh, hopefully everybody stays, is staying safe and your remote workers are staying safe. You, you know, one of, the, one of the things that the hackers are really enjoying is people who used to come into the office are now working remotely and their remote machines are not as secure. They're not behind the corporate firewall, so they're not as secure and corporate may not have as much insight into that, into what goes on on those machines. And that's, that's always uh, an, an easy target for the bad guys. So hopefully everybody stays safe and uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow.